Today we're going to be adding on to the dream garden a little bit and planting some thornless blackberries. Some prime Arkansas freedom blackberries. If this is your first time on our channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification button so you get notified every time we come out with a new video. And if you are a frequent viewer of our channel, it's always good to have you back. So there's my dream garden over there. All six plots five of which are currently in production. Another we're waiting on a winter rye cover crop to come up. And then right on the very edge here, I've got a spot where I'm gonna put me some thornless blackberries. So I've got this spot here that's about 50 foot long and I say it's about four foot wide. So we're gonna plant thornless blackberries all up and down this little tilled patch right here. And make a nice little addition to the dream garden give us a little more fruit to harvest on our homestead so what i did with this little patch right here is i took my silage tarp i had it on this plot right here before i planted all this good stuff and so it was easy just to slide it right over here and i folded it up so it was only about that wide as you see that cultivated spot there and 50 foot long which is the length of those tarps and that allowed me to prepare this area without using any herbicides, any Roundup, anything like that. So that tarp killed off all that grass. And then I came in here and I've tilled it two or three times every few weeks just to get it nice and weed free so we can plant our blackberries in here. Now I do already have a small patch of thornless blackberries on my homestead. This is kind of the back end of my property here. And I've had these growing for four or five years now, and they do pretty good. I don't know what the variety is. A fella give them to us. It's either Apache, Navajo, or Arapaho. Seems like a lot of the thornless blackberries have Native American names. But these do pretty good, and they produce okay. The problem is they're not on any kind of irrigation, and they're kind of way back here. Hard for me to get back here and water them, and a lot of times I forget about it. So this last year when we had a real dry spring, they didn't produce very many blackberries. Now when they do produce them, they're pretty good, but I want to do another plot over there by the dream garden and put them on irrigation. Now down here in South Georgia, wild blackberries grow like crazy in the spring. We a lot of times just call them briars, but along these wood lines, like you see behind me here, it'll be filled with those wild thorned blackberries and those things are really good to eat but they are a pain to harvest because you're going to get stuck several times even getting you a little bucket full now these thornless blackberries get a lot bigger than those wild ones i will say they're not quite as sweet as those wild ones but they're sweet enough and it doesn't take near as long to pick a pail of these thornless ones as it does those wild ones so like i mentioned before i'm going to put these on irrigation so i'm a run drip tape along the length of this little long skinny patch here so i can keep those blackberries nice and watered should we get a dry spell like we did last year now i'm having to run my water in the middle of this patch because a water hose won't reach all the way to either end there so my spigot is way over there at my house and i've got 200 feet of water hose that i use to water these plots in the dream garden and i really don't want to hook another water hose up to there but it will reach to this point right here where i've got that filter regulator combo so we'll plug in the water hose right there and then it's going to feed this main line and then we're going to run i think two drip lines on each side of it keep everything nice and watered so two drip lines that way and then two drip lines that way and because we're planting perennials here, these blackberries are going to be here for a while. We're going to use this 15 mil tape, which comes on these kind of oblong looking rolls. Now a drip tape layer will not work with these rolls, so we'll have to lay it out by hand, but it won't take long with just four lines. And this stuff has a lot longer lifespan. It's a lot thicker or twice as thick as that eight mil tape. So that's what we're going to use here today on this plot. So I'm gonna head over to the barn and get my wheel hose so I can bury these four lines of 15 mil tape 
and we can get everything hooked up and running and then we'll talk a little bit more about this prime Arkansas Freedom variety that we're planting today. Tiger, you gonna help plant some blackberries today or you gonna loaf around? All right, well I'm counting on you. It's a little bit muddy in here if you can't tell, but I had to do what I gotta do. I've had these plants for a few days and I need to get them in the ground. So I gotta plant it when it's a little wet. It's supposed to get more rain this weekend, so it's only gonna get wetter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them in the ground. We got our lines installed there, our four lines, and we're gonna plant in between those lines on both sides here. And um I'll turn off this tape in just a second. I just need it to be swelled up there so I can cover it up easier and then we'll turn it off. So let's cover up that tape and then we'll be ready to plant some plants in between there. All right, let's see what we got here with these plants. So this variety, like I said earlier, is called Prime Arkansas Freedom. And a month or so ago on our Row by Row show, I asked our viewers what would be a good blackberry variety to plant, and everybody recommended this one. This Prime Arkansas Freedom was developed at the University of Arkansas. I can't remember the professor's name. But it's supposed to be a really heat tolerant variety, really disease resistant, which we need down here. And the other thing is it will bear fruit twice. And so really looking forward to the production on these. I've got enough plants here to uh, take care of this little area. Let's unwrap them and see what we got here. Looks like maybe some instructions there. All right, there we go. So they put this this gel stuff around them so they stay good until you're ready to plant them. Cut that string right there. And uh, there we go. Got our plants there. And we'll put those in the ground. The recommended spacing on these is three to five feet apart. And since I've got them on drip tape, I'm gonna try to plant them about three feet apart. I'm gonna go on the closer end of that spectrum there. Now the instructions said not to plant these very deep. So I'm gonna just scratch me out a little spot right here. And uh, put that baby there in the ground. Get it kind of covered up and upright. Well, it should be good right there. Move on along down the road here. Get the rest of them planted. All right, all right, all right. We got them planted. There's one, there's another one, and another one right there. About three feet along that row. Got them planted, mud and all. Some of my tape didn't get covered up real good just because it was so wet and the wheel hoe wasn't running spectacularly. 
but that's all right because we're going to come in here with some wheat straw and put around these plants and cover up this whole cultivated area to give us some weed suppression there and the reason i did it so wide is because these things will form new canes year after year and kind of spread out and sprawl and i uh, wanted to make sure we got plenty of room for that to happen another reason why i chose this arkansas freedom variety is because it supposedly doesn't need trellising like some blackberry varieties do so as long as we keep it pruned back relatively well it should just kind of be bushy and put on loads of blackberries now they do recommend tipping these once they get about 12 to 18 inches long and then again once the new growth gets about 30 inches long so that means just coming in there and snipping the top of it cutting that apical mary stem and you'll get a lot more lateral growth and a lot more branching and inevitably a lot more blackberries that way so i expect a lot more out of this blackberry plot than my other one because this is supposed to be an improved variety and we've got it on that drip tape we can keep it nice and fed and productive if you've grown this prime arkansas freedom variety before or maybe you have it on your homestead now let me know in the comments below how you like it how does it perform for you and if you've got any tips and tricks on getting it to perform even better definitely let me know i'll put some links below to our 15 mil drip tape which works great on perennials and also a link to ison's site where i purchased these blackberry plants i hope you enjoyed this video give us a big like give us a big thumbs up and a share if you did and we'll see you next time